Damage left behind from Hurricane Selene and Milton can be felt nationwide, including here in Kansas. Fact Finder 12 investigator Dylan Domang explains that despite being thousands of miles away, flood damage cars find their ways onto used car lots right here in Kansas. Flood damaged cars are often sold at auction and then cleaned up to look good as new. They're then sold to you for a cheap price, and thousands of them end up on roadways in states like Kansas. Devastating flooding in the southeast left many areas underwater. Looking back here. Now automotive experts warn those flood damaged vehicles could soon flood the used car market. We're a long way from the coast, any coast, so we don't generally know what to look for here. It's a problem nationwide. Hurricane Helene alone left behind more than 130,000 flooded cars. That number on top of the more than 450,000 water damaged vehicles that were reported just last year. And there's not a big tag on the side or even a small sticker that says, hey, I was previously in a flood. So what are the signs that car buyers should look out for? Lowell Toothman with LT Auto in Wichita explains. What you want to look for is there'll be a residue back here on the firewall. You'll see a line basically where the water level was. If you, if you look, you'll see kind of a consistent line that goes around this whole thing. And it's not just under the hood where you should check. Well, what you want to look for is like right over here on the side, same thing. You want to, in fact, you can see some right there. That's, the, that's what it looks like. It's ocean water and ocean water has salt in it and salt leaves a white crust behind. And even if you don't see corrosion, the smell of mildew could be a red flag. LT says another sign that the car may have been previously damaged is if it's on sale for a cheaper price. There are some people who are, you know, they're out there to make a dollar, you know. Anytime you have high leverage transactions like this, you want to make sure that all of your questions are realistically answered. The Better Business Bureau says scammers are trying to pass off water damaged cars as regular used cars, which while at first might sound like a good deal, could lead to you paying thousands of dollars down the road in repairs. You don't want to buy a lemon, and a lot of folks are left uh, holding lemons when they purchase vehicles from impacted regions. LT warns in the next six months, he expects thousands of flooded out cars from Florida to end up in lots in Kansas. Th this part of the country will just, they'll be everywhere. So the question is, how can you protect yourself? We can enter the VIN number of the car you're looking at online. A site like Carfax should show you the prior damage, but that's not always reported. So instead you can take the car down to a local maintenance shop where you can get a second opinion from an expert. Reporting for Fact Finder, Dylan Doming, 12 News.